Here are five things to avoid to make your college career at RIT even better. Humans vs. Zombies is played twice a year at RIT. We have some of the largest games across the nation because so much of our student population participates. Students who are zombies chase others, and those who aren't shoot the zombies with Nerf guns. Every morning after, there's literally a graveyard of old Nerf bullets that squish and crunch under your shoes as you walk to class. Inevitably, on your walk, a player will bump into you, run in front of you, or just generally make your walk unpleasant. There's about three to four bus cycles every hour. If your class starts at 11, don't take the bus at 1045. Not only do you run the risk of running late if the bus isn't on time, but you will be packed like sardines with other students who have made the same decision. The amount of body odor that students can give off so early in the morning may be surprising, but it's still pungent. And who wants to start their day shoved into the smelly armpits of another student? The food on campus is very expensive. If you can't avoid eating prepared foods on campus, you'd better avoid grocery shopping on campus. The same foods at your local Walmart can run you at least 50% more here. Don't grocery shop on campus unless you like spending more money for less food. If you're not a winter person, you can avoid outside for most of the school year. Rochester gets slammed with cold weather and tons of snow. In one February, about 33% of our days were in the single-digit temperatures. Many of our buildings are connected with tunnels and bridges. Leave the outside to those crazies who wear shorts in the middle of winter and actually find freezing temperatures to be fun. About midway through every semester, students can plan for their next semester. You go on Student Information System, select your classes, and put them in a cart. A couple weeks later, you enroll with that cart of classes, and you're all set for the following semester. Don't wait on choosing your classes. Sometimes you'll need permission from your advisor or a special code. If you wait until the date of enrollment to begin selecting classes, you're not guaranteed to get them, and you could even delay your graduation. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.